Hi, I'm Kyle Jorgensen with uh, Revolution Machine Tool. Today I'm going to make, make a simple video on the Dellum DA53T uh, press brake control. Now the DA53T is standard on our B-Smart series press brakes which go all the way up to 500 ton. Now we can option a, a DA58T on that same series of press brakes on our B-Smart series. Now either one of these controls will be able to control five axis really. I mean. Y1, Y2, so both your cylinders, an X-axis CNC back gauge, R-axis on your CNC back gauge, and then CNC crowning is, is uh, what this control is capable of. If you need more axis than, than that, we need to step into our B-Genius machine where you get into a Dell MDA 66T or 69T. But for most, a lot of customers, I wouldn't say most, but a lot of customers, uh, people out in the industry, this is a very nice, um, system or feature has a lot of nice features that it, uh, it works for a lot of people but anyway let me I'm gonna go into the control briefly just kinda go in an overview of the DA 53T now the DA 53T does have graphics I'm gonna I'm gonna get to this later but first I'm gonna start off and show you the manual screen now in my manual screen here I've got all functions of the machine of the press brake you know, the type of forming that I'm doing, depending on the dies and how I'm configured, if I got hemming dies, or I'm bottoming, or I'm air bending, depending on the type of tooling. Um, I've got bending length would be the, the width of the part. Now, the machine needs no bending length because it's going to calculate the tonnage and limit the tonnage to what you're doing. Also, it's going to check the tooling and the material that we've, you know, for any, um, to make sure we're not going to uh, damage the tooling or the machine. Um, product position, that'd be in your Z direction across the machine. Now bend angle. Let me just change it. I've got corrections. Let's see, you know, I just changed my spring back. Like if I, I form something and it's a, it's a quarter degree open, I would add minus 0.25. And I actually, I could add this to either Y1 or Y2, or I could globally add it to both sides. This is, uh, so the material thickness that I've got programmed, this is where my RAM's gonna penetrate, this is my, my depth that it's gonna finish to reach what I'm asking it to do. My mute position is where my safety laser turns off or where it goes from rapid, rapid free fall into forming mode. Opening is how far it's gonna open um, after I finish my cycle or the bend or form. The tonnage, I can set it, it'll calculate it for you and then you, you you know, you can set the parameters and override it if you'd like. Dwell time at the bottom, say I've got a big panel or, you know, some really, you know, special material, I can set my uh, dwell times. Decompression at the bottom, so I can, it's like, you know, instead of letting a pair of vice grips go, I can slowly let off the pressure. I mean, even though it could be within a half second, but I, I bleed it off, depending on the type of parts that I'm doing. Again, you can just program it. Now speed of the forming and then your decompression. So they're just reverse of each other essentially. I've got forming speed and then I've got decompression speed back up the other way. Um, wait for retract depending on what I'm doing. Um, stop and mute and I can program all this. See, Very simple, simple. Now as you can see, I've got material thickness and type of material. So I'm going to build a material library to match the type of work I'm doing, and I'll show you in a second how to do that. And I'll, obviously the material thickness. Now you notice everything in the screen right now is in inch. If I go to machine, excuse me, settings, I can toggle between inch and metric. I can also, on this control, change the language. So we got Brazilian, Chinese, Czech, Danish. I mean, there's a lot of controls in, or different languages that the control can be changed to, depending on your operators. I mean, in Spanish, and again, we have it on English, obviously. A couple other just different settings that you can change globally. Uh, materials, now, here I can build a material library, you know, say I've got certain types of stainlesses and aluminums, and I mean, you get the idea. Different types of steel, they all have different spring back 
different tonnages they require to form. And you build, you build a library of the type of materials you're going to be forming with the machine and pull it in when you're forming it. Now I can go to products. Now I can have a product library here. I mean, I've never seen anybody max it out. It's 100 plus programs you can put in here. You can sort them and you know search your directory. I'm going to go in and make a, a new product here. Also, I could make a new program. A new program is an NC program. A new product is a graphical program. I'm going to draw the particular part. But I'll go into new product. I'm going to give it a product ID, which a name, whatever I want to call it. Let's say I'm going to call this. I mean, doesn't really matter. Then a product description. I mean, just however you keep track of your programs, your products. Thickness of the particular part. I mean, I can change it. I've got my material library. Now again, you can build your material library. Basically, you just need your yield and tinsel and you build your library of the particular materials that you actually have that you're going to be forming. Uh, the bin length, this is in Z direction or the width, which is fine. But I could change it if I wanted to. Now, it's asking me outer or inner dimensions. I mean, how is my part, um, if I'm looking at my print, or how was it drawn? Is it outer or inner dimensions? Because I'm going to grow, grow or draw a graphical um, representation of that part. Now use programs, this is using the Dellum formulas or you can load your own tables if you've got a, you know, a bin deduction or bin allowance table that you've always used. Now, this is a graphical screen. It's kind of hard to do this because I'm clear to the side of the control. If I was in front of it, it would be easier, but let's say I just got a straight line there and I want to go eight inches. See, I'm here, but if I want, you know, just to come up, and I can say it's asking me the angle of that, which is fine if I want a 90, and I can go back to the line, change the line. And I can also grab it, change the angle of the part. And let's say that was my part. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but you get the idea you're able to draw your part. Now, I've got a tooling library, and I can go in and select my punch and dies, I'll get into that in a minute in your tooling library, but this particular machine's got a little four-way and just a simple gooseneck American punch on the top. And, you know, it shows quite a bit of stuff about that tool, so you can see if you're grabbing her, the right tool's pulled in. Change our punch if we got another punch, that kind of thing. Um, if I go to bin sequence, it's going to form the part. I mean, you know, you can see if you got any collision with the particular tooling that you've pulled in, uh, that kind of thing. And if I go to my program, oop, you notice I'm just kind of working down these buttons. If I go to my program, everything to do with that program that I'm making, this Kyle 45, is all here. So if I want to change my bag gauge or my open height, anything to do with that, or, it's all there so I can see it and edit it. If I go to auto, I can just I can run. Now here in auto, I've got, again, all bins. I can view it. I can go to main. If I've got any corrections on my, let's say, you know, I can put a Y1 correction if I'm off half, half degree because of the spring back of the material. I can, you know, add a half degree on that particular material easily and keep forming those parts. But uh, fairly simple. I mean, really simple. And that's that's the auto screen. Now, if I wanted to go back, like if I'm okay, let me go into my material or uh, tooling library. See, I've got machine or machine. I've got punches, so I can program different punches depending on what I have. My library, I can have 30 punches, 30 dies. There's my uh, again. I went back into settings, but I've got um, this simple stuff I can change. Here's my material library. Um, bend allowance table, if I want to change it, that kind of thing, simple stuff. And you can lock all this too. Stock count, up, down, uh, just a lot of stuff, very simple to change. You also can lock it down if you don't want your operator to change any of this. But um, yeah, fairly simple and uh, do it. Now, if I was going to make a, a new program, I'd go through the same thing. I'd go to angle, 
and I'd go step by step by step through the part. I tell it, you know, I can either tell it angle or I can actually tell it Y position, and it's a, it's an NC mode. Um, I prefer the graphical mode because I see if I got any collisions or if I got to turn or turn the part or that kind of thing in the future. I prefer it, but again, there's a lot of people out there, you know, the NCX9 kind of stuff where you're in, you're programming in NC and it's easy, you know, very easy to make a program. And um, this control, I would think in a couple hours, that somebody had never seen it in a couple hours will have a pretty good basic understanding of what's going on, even if they've never even been around a press break. But um, yeah, um, very intuitive. We, uh, we've had good, we like Dellum. But uh, yeah, you can see us on uh, pressbreak.com. RMTUS uh, is our main website, but we've also got a web, part of our website is pressbreak.com, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.